Hey guys. Okay, so today I am here to do my 20 and 21 week bump date. I did not end up getting a bump date up last week to do 20 weeks because of Thanksgiving and everything else. So sorry about that, but I'm gonna do both weeks today, which also means that I'm officially over halfway with this pregnancy and it's so crazy. That is so crazy to me that we're already over halfway. All right, so this week, baby is the size of a baseball hat, according to the Ovia pregnancy app, which is about 10 and a half inches in length. And it says that the baby is probably around three quarters of a pound. As far as symptoms go the past couple weeks, one of the biggest things that I have noticed is how out of breath I am already. And it's kind of ridiculous, but I am super out of breath as if I were like 35, 40 weeks pregnant. And um, clearly I'm not that far along, but still I just, I can't breathe. Another thing that's been very noticeable the past couple weeks is the pain in my legs and back if I'm on my feet too long. I just can't. I mean, I already have leg pain because of the, the bone disease that I have um, and back pain, all sorts of pain, but this is definitely amplified right now. And so that's been a little challenging because I'm on my feet a lot as a mom. And so it's been hard to try to take the time to sit down and get off of them for a little bit so I'm not in so much pain. Also, I can definitely feel the stretching going on in my belly right now. Um, I don't know if there was some sort of growth spurt this week or what, but I feel like my belly got a lot bigger in the past week, week and a half. Um, and also my belly button has officially popped out, popped out which never happened with Jonathan. I don't think it did with Ellie, not even at the end, I don't think. Um, I think it just got really flat, but this time it is popping out and I have a little stretch mark by my belly button now. My belly is definitely expanding. I am still breaking out like around here. I just think that's gonna be what's gonna happen this pregnancy. It's not going away. I don't care what I do. Um, I'm just breaking out so bad here. So if you see that in my videos and stuff, like I'm super embarrassed by it because it's very obvious. Even with makeup, if it's a close up, like you can really see it. Um, but it is what it is. Another thing the past week or two that I've really noticed is that by the end of the day, I am dead. Usually I would stay up to like 11, 11.30 at night before I'd go to sleep because I'd be getting stuff done or just taking time for myself and like, sitting down and relaxing or whatever. If we sit down and relax, I'm asleep in like 20, 30 minutes. We turn a movie on, I'm gone. I can't, I'm so tired by the end of the day. I just wanna sleep. And I feel bad because it's really the only time I get with James, but I can't help it. I'm just so tired. <laughs> on that same note though of sleep, I have also been experiencing a lot of insomnia the past couple weeks and I have an okay time falling asleep at night, usually, especially if it's on the couch with a movie on. Um, but if I wake up for any reason, I'm wide awake. Doesn't matter if it's 30 minutes after I fell asleep or like two hours, I'm wide awake for a couple hours. And I've been waking up early, like earlier than the kids, which is, is not good because I need to sleep in the morning. Um, so I don't know, I'm just, I'm awake and I'm, ready to go, I guess. This has been really cool the past week, for sure. Um, baby's movements are getting very big and I can easily see them, you know, at night if I'm just sitting on the couch or whatever, I can see my belly moving around. Um, you know, like the kicks and the punches and things like that. I can't see, I haven't seen like a big movement yet, as in like an elbow or like a butt or whatever rolling around, but definitely I can see kicks and punches and stuff like that. and. I just, I told you guys, like, I love this part. I love being able to feel the baby. It's so exciting. All right, um, another reason I think maybe there was some sort of growth spurt going on is because I have been so incredibly hungry that I can't even stop myself. I am hungry all the time. I can just eat and I'm hungry 30 minutes later. And I don't wanna gain a bunch of weight by eating all day, but I'm so hungry. And you know, I try to always drink water first and stuff like that to see if I'm just thirsty. Nope, hungry. And I want all the junk. Like I've been eating so horribly the past couple of weeks and it's bad. And I know it's holiday season, but it's bad. And I really need to reel it in. 
but everything I want is just not really that healthy, so. Except for apples. I've been on an apple kick and they've been amazing. Also, other cravings I've had, which is hilarious, um, because they used to be something I couldn't eat, anything with eggs in it. I want egg sandwiches. I want deviled eggs. I want hard boiled eggs. I want scrambled eggs. <laughs> anything like that, I want all the time. I would eat breakfast for every meal right now and be totally happy. The other thing I've been craving is Dairy Queen blizzards. Which if you don't have Dairy Queen by you or don't know what Dairy Queen is or whatever, um, a blizzard is basically like a thick milkshake um, and they have all different kinds but there's a brownie one right now and then I add Heath Bar to it and it's probably the greatest thing I have ever tasted <laughs> in my whole life. And I want one all the time. I've only had one so far, but that's what I've been craving every single day is a Dairy Queen Blizzard. The only thing that really doesn't sound great is coffee sometimes and that's it. Otherwise, everything sounds pretty good. Like nothing sounds disgusting to me at this point, which is really nice to be at this point in my pregnancy where I can eat all of the things. All right guys, that's about it as far as symptoms go, but I wanted to talk to you about the anatomy scan that we had what did I say, a week, a week and a day ago. So I was exact, no, I was 20 weeks one day for the anatomy scan and baby was measuring 20 weeks two days. We still do not know the gender. We are not going to find out the gender. I feel like I need to say this in every video because people ask me in every video. So we are going to wait till birth. If you get tired of me saying this, I'm really sorry. I'm just, I know not everybody watches every single video I make. So yes waiting till birth james was trying to peek though i saw him he was trying to peek the whole time and i'm like don't do it don't do it give me this <laughs> so anyway we do not know what it is neither of us know um the ultrasound tech was amazing she made sure we didn't see anything or anything like that but as far as the baby health wise goes everything looked great and it was just such a big relief because Jonathan was born with a birth defect. And so she looked really closely at this baby's diaphragm and it looked great. So that's wonderful that everything looked good at this point. Um, and then the disease that I have is genetic. So I've always been worried with all of our kids that they would get what I have. Um, and the indicator of that would be that our baby's long bones would be measuring short, especially at this point in pregnancy, it would be very obvious on ultrasound and everything measured great. So, so thankful, so thankful that everything looks good at this point. You know, we just keep praying for a healthy pregnancy, but we're so glad that at the scan, everything looked good. Placenta placement looked good. Cervix looked good. <laughs> All of the things looked good. So we're doing well and I'm just so excited and it's just such a huge relief when you leave an anatomy scan with good news, you know. So that's been wonderful. So that was really great that we have that and we have a little bit more of a peace of mind now that everything looks good with baby at this point. All right guys, that is it for my 20 and 21 week bump date. I will go ahead and show you my belly. All right guys, well that is it for my 20 and 21 week bump date. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button down below so you can follow along on this journey with me. Thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.